Thank you for babysitting my son. Here's a set of rules you'll need to follow. I can't thank you enough for babysitting my son Oliver tonight. I haven't gotten a night to myself for quite some time. Below is a set of rules I've compiled for you to follow. I can't stress this to you enough, be extremely cautious, and read each one carefully. I would hate for you to fall victim to them. 1. You will most likely arrive to my house around lunchtime, so that is where you'll start. Oliver is an extremely picky eater, and everything he likes is already in the fridge. However, if there is pudding, do not feed it to him. They are trying to trick you. If you somehow make the dreadful mistake of feeding Oliver something he doesn't like, refer to Rule 10. 2. Never leave Oliver unattended in the kitchen. He has developed some sort of weird fascination of the knives we have. I always hide them in new places, but he keeps finding them. I think they are telling him. If he gets his hands on a knife, beg him to kill you. I would rather have you die than see what happens when Oliver has won. 3. Take Oliver to the park after lunchtime. Please refrain from talking to the other families at the park. They are not your friends. If someone comes up to talk to you, sit wherever you are and put your head down until Oliver is ready to leave. They know that you're not one of them and will kill you on the spot. Don't give them a reason to. 4. Oliver will be tired after the park and will want to take a nap. Do not go into his room, he is capable of putting himself to sleep. They do not like guests, and will make sure you never leave the house. Alive, that is. 4a. While Oliver is asleep, you're free to do pretty much anything. If you get hungry, help yourself to anything in the kitchen. The only thing you are prohibited from eating is the food on the top shelf in the pantry. That's their food, and if you eat anything from there, you're guaranteed to end up on that shelf as well. 5. When Oliver wakes up, he will want to play. This is the only time you are safe from anything. As long as Oliver's happy, they're happy. 6. It is now dinner time. Oliver really likes this Chinese food place. I have left a $50 bill on the counter so you can order the food. Be sure to get two extra orders of spring rolls with shrimp. They need to eat, too. If you don't, they'll eat the next available thing. You. 6a. If the delivery guy knocks more than three times, do not answer. It is not him, they're trying to trick you. If you do open the door, I hope you were fed up with life. 7. After dinner, Oliver will want to watch a movie. If Oliver wants to turn off the lights, grab one of the crosses from my bedroom and hold it throughout the movie. They are most active in the dark and won't be hiding anymore. 8. About halfway through the movie, you will hear barking and scratching at the back door. Pay no attention to it and do not let it in. We don't have a dog anymore. They killed it a while ago. If it starts driving you crazy and you let it in, refer to Rule 10. 9. Bedtime. Oliver will ask you to pick out a pair of pajamas for him. My closet has a section where all of his pajamas are. You can pick any of them, just avoid any with the color brown. They hate brown. It's the color of pudding, which I mentioned is the one food Oliver hates in Rule 1. If they see you holding it, they'll tear into you, no doubt. By me, you can sleep on the couch if you've made it this far. If you find that the couch makes you an easy target, you can sleep in my bed. My room won't guarantee your safety, but it's better than being in the open. 10. If you forgot or broke one of the rules, look under my bed for a briefcase. I have left a pistol, a pen, and paper. You will need to write a suicide note for the police, and then kill yourself. I can if you experience any of the things they will put you through, and I can promise that death is a paradise compared to those things. Just be sure to not mention them in your note. They'll keep you alive to put you through hell if they're exposed to the public. Hell, they'll kill me just for trusting you to be in the house. That is all. I hope you and Oliver have the best time.